And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the next gauntlet. We're going to be trying the standard gauntlet with the pick and ban format. Uh, we're going to be doing this to try to win seven and get the prime glory so that we um, can get some prime glory so that we're going to be uh, farther along in the last chance gauntlet that starts on December 4th. Uh, but basically what this is going to be, this is going to be my very first time ever playing this format. I know it's been in uh, some gauntlets before, but I've act I actually haven't played them. Um, it was it was in the very first one of these gauntlets that you could get the Prime Glory, and I forgot to play it before the event ended. But we're going to make sure to do it now. It's going to be our first thing that we're doing today on our uh, Rank Up Sunday. So this is going to be like our competitive gauntlet. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to pick three standard decks and enter the arena to see what we uh, see if we've got the chance to, what it takes to survive the gauntlet so we're going to choose our three favorite standard decks and they have to be in different regions and uh, we're going to ban one of our opponent's deck and they'll ban one of our decks and then we pick one of our last two that haven't been banned and we'll play the match with uh, that deck so um, let's see so we're going to enter our three decks that we're going to play are going to be mountain diana this is a deck that is um, based around invoking, just invoking a bunch. You have Lunari Priestess invoking, Solari Priestess invoking, Mountain Scryer invoking, you know, Star Shaping. It's all about invoke. Lots and lots of Targon, only four Shadow Isles cards, just three Unspeakable Horrors and a Vengeance at the top end. Um, and uh, it does have like a Aurelian Soul at the top end, which of course really cares about invoking, but it's not really about a Aurelian Soul. It's about just having a low curve. You know, we have nine one drops, a whole bunch of twos, and uh, then using your invoke cards for the power in the late game. And of course, Mountain Scryer uh, makes those celestial cards cost one less. So uh, that's going to be one deck we're going to select. We are going to select Swole Cat, a deck that I just love to play. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a Katarina deck um, with Lulu and Shen. So Lulu and Shen are both support. And, um, you know, so they, they reward you for attacking, having support champions, and then Katarina can get you some more attacks. But of course, it's Kato the Arm, also another great support card. You know, Kato's not a champion, but kind of plays as one. Uh, it has Swole Squirrel in here, where it can double its power, a great card to support. And some re really good early stuff, especially Trifarian Glory Seeker um, doing some good work in here. So we'll try this one out. So that's... Um, Shadow Isles and Targon, and Ionia and Noxus, and then we'll go over to Bilgewater and Demacia, and we'll play this Tom Kench Lux deck that we played the other day that, that felt pretty good, that was pretty impressive, with three Unyielding Spirits um, to, to pair with Tom Kench and Lux. This is a fun one to play. Let's try this one out again. So that'll be our third deck. So there we go. Three decks, different regions. Here we go. All right, so we're going to uh, play until we win seven or we lose two in a row or the last one we only get one chance at the last one and that's if you saw us play the gauntlet last week um, we won our first six and then we lost the last one and so we were eliminated so we didn't get the prime glory all right so this is my gonna be my very first time trying this let's see what happens here let's see how's this going to work okay so here's their decks uh, we ban one of these. Let's see, Trundle, Shivana, Sejuani, Swain, or Callista, Hecarim with Freljord. I think we're going to ban this Callista, Freljord, Hecarim. I think that's what we're going to ban. I don't think I want to deal with they who endure. Alright, they banned my Tom Kench Lux. So now I have to pick another one of these. Man, they don't give you very much time. Um... I feel pretty good. I'm going to pick the Mountain Diana here. I think that we can invoke and have... I think we can invoke and, and kind of go over the top of either of these other two decks. So I feel pretty good about our matchup against either of these two. Okay, so yeah, you can, you can play the same regions, just not champions. All right, so we're going to mulligan these two, and I don't know if I don't really need two spacey sketchers. Let's get rid of one of those also. All right, yeah, so they're going Sejuani Swain. 
Sunburst. Uh, let's see. I'll just pass the turn. Sunburst can get rid of either of those two champions. Ours is the one true light. Devotion to button. Okay, cool. Unknown, unknown king. I will. Uh, I'll save that one. That ever main's gonna be pretty good. Breathe it. Follow the horizon. Press All right, let's see what they got. Um. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna use this <laughs> on, on the City Breaker, I guess. City Breaker is good. It's a good card. Dealing one to the enemy Nexus every single round. Levels up both of their champions uh, very quickly. I don't want their champions to be leveled up that easily. Because I don't have... I was gonna say, I don't have a Vengeance to kill Swain anymore. Maybe they pass? Alright, they did not pass. It hits me for 7, I'm down to 10, but I do have the two star shapings. So that's not the worst. What we got? Um, I guess I'm going to take this... Well, I guess the Immortal Fire has got to be pretty good against them. You know, we're, we're a long ways off from casting the Immortal Fire. Do you like how like this can make Diana, you know, this can basically be five mana Diana that's a 4-4, four, four, you know, like 4-4 four, four, um, quick attack challenger. It's honestly pretty strong. It's going to be between one of these two. I don't really care about the meteor shower. I'll take the immortal fire. Mind and open heart greet the night. All right, next turn we're looking at seven mana, which would be... Star shaping plus messenger. Spilled paint is just accidental. I'm just gonna take the trickster though. Hmm. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Yeah, Equinox is good against Leviathan. That's true. So put him down to eight. Mortal Fire is going to be seven power. That decimate's scary because I have to cast Vengeance on the Swain this turn, and now I don't have Star Shaping. So that decimate's scary. I didn't. I was not expecting decimate to be honest. Kind of wish I would have just gone for like Star Shaping or Vengeance this turn. I guess I can block Swain with the Trickster and have Unspeakable Horror. You know, they have Sejuani, obviously that, that'll be not good. Carved from the savage cold. So that's obviously not good. So that's me going down to four. It's tough. We'd want to play Immortal Fire here, but we can't really. So Sejuani's now at four out of five. So about one more hit, and we're and Sejuani's leveled up. Right, I'll pass over there. See what they do. See if I'm casting two more unspeakable horrors or if I'm casting star shaping. I don't know, maybe I just don't even need to be prioritizing this 3 1. Probably should have just passed again. 
gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't have cast that on Speakable Horror. I should have passed again. So yeah, I can attack with the 4-1. They block with Sejuani. Put Sejuani down to 2 health. Okay, so they just passed. Alright, hopefully they play something big. And we get to Supernova. Alright, that is not playing something big. You are misguided. Only the strong survive. So I, I'm casting Supernova this turn. Still. And they are not helping me out. I'm being very patient. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I am worried about Leviathan. So, like, let's see. I go Immortal Fire. Plus, well, remember, they can just Frostbite my whole team. So it's not like... You know, like, that's a problem, obviously. Because if I play Immortal Fire right now, and they have Leviathan plus Decimate, I lose. That's the whole problem with playing Immortal Fire. We've already seen Decimate from them. And so that's pretty scary. Because I have to Supernova the next turn, and then I don't, you know, I don't have Star Shaping. So I could just simply... I don't think I passed turn, though. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just play. I'm gonna be playing the star shaping this turn. I'm just gonna play this and star shaping. Passing doesn't work for me. Like if we just pass back and forth, the six five overwhelm kills me. We we can't just pass all the time. I have my orders. If we just pass back and forth, we lose. We have to do stuff because we're we're behind on board, so we have to do stuff. I mean, I guess, I guess now we can just supernova these two, and then they, like, if I supernova those two, and then they play, um, they play Leviathan, Come, a new phase we're in problem. Wins. Oh well. They did, they did a great job not putting out another threat for me. I mean, I just, I have to get rid of Sejuani. It's just at the end of the day, that's what I gotta do. Yeah, they... Very likely could have another Sejuani in hand. They played this pretty well, not um, making this very awkward for me, not uh, giving me another very good obliterate. Maybe they don't have anything besides just removal and small units. Maybe they don't have any more Swain, Leviathan, you or Sejuani. Nope. Things in cycles. Someday we will be one. It's a good card to have. I don't have anything that does three damage in my deck. Like if I attack with Diana and challenge the Sejuani, I don't have anything that does three damage. Get another is that a stun card? No, I thought that was a, st a stun card. Yeah, there. Okay, yeah. So we do have a stun card. Okay. Okay, so we can start with that. So the good news is like Leviathan Round Start will deal damage to me, which will frostbite my stuff, which means that then I play like a Mortal Fire next turn, and it's not going to be frostbitten. Guess it's just cosmic inspiration over written in stars. Sunlight fades behind the moon. They will not outrun us. 
Alright, so these two will be frostbitten. Should work. I think that should work. Because they can't, because it's not going to be back row now. They can't stun it. Flash freeze. Flash freeze. Uh, all right, 0 and 1. The Lunari will not live in fear. No, I don't think it would have been better to play Daybreak and Fish for Obliterate. Not at all. We had to deal with too many things. Okay. Um, I'll let them have either of these other two decks, I think. I don't really want to deal with Swain. I don't think I want to deal with this. Um, why do we have, like, we have, like, no time? All right, we're going to play... We're going to play... We just lost with Mount Diana. Let's, let's play... Wolcat. You know, these are both like longer games, longer decks, and the Invoke deck is our best like long deck. So maybe I should be playing the Mountain Diana again actually here. Because the Invoke deck can can play a long game against anything. So I probably should, but we just lost with it, so I don't want to go back to it. All right, not a good hand. Let's look for our cheaper things. Okay, we got a flower child and a Shen. We could try to make this work. Hey, Zilvaric. Good morning. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty great. That kills my flower child. Good sapling toss. Alright, I probably should have picked Mountain Diane again with this, you know, just a matchup of, of this kind of stuff. Victory requires a sharp blade. Bunch of two-one challengers. Discipline and steel. It's not a two-one challenger. Two worlds, one balance. We use transfusion. I know I could use cooling strike also. I'm gonna save cooling strike. Go this route. You know, like Maokai would be a great cooling strike target. They they have some good ones with those champions. I find them. You are mine. Avenge me. All right, we'll just take that. The Isles will bloom again. And that worked out. There we go. I'm sorry. That worked out pretty well. Keep them from playing more of these 2-1 challengers. Either one of their options are good. Yeah, because they either get Maokai or just getting the 3-3 three, three Vanguard Sergeant would give them another 4 Demacia. You accepted what became of us. We were one mana short of playing Swole Squirrel and then doing this and having Swole Squirrel um, hit and then double. Again, I don't want to play... I don't want to play Swole Squirrel first because I don't want them to get the free sapling. 
And I want to support the flower child and start grow growing flower child, but I guess this is still just a thing to do. So I guess I'm just not attacking with flower child. The balance has been maintained. I'm playing it patiently. Yuck. That card can be a problem. Better. Yeah, that card can be a problem. Probably should have played my late game invoke deck. Okay, so we are going to be able to play all these cards. So I'm hopefully going to kill them this turn. That's my plan. My plan is to kill them right here. I'm not really playing around vengeance too much. I will hold the line. Try me, I dare you. We walk between realms. All right, that'll put him to negative two. I still have a transfusion available. Oh, GG's. And stand united so good. Everything as it should be. Okay, so we have Karma Lee Sin, Nocturnal Lease, and Tom Kench Soraka. Alright, um, I think I am going to ban Karma Lee Sin. Everybody just bans this. All right, we'll play Mountain Diana. I feel pretty good about Ma Mountain Diana with both of these matchups, I think. All right, playing against the fast aggro. We got a low curve. I guess the, oh, I guess this deck's all fearsome, isn't it? I was just kind of thinking of like, it's aggro, but I guess fearsome. Yeah, fearsome's more of a problem because we have just a bunch of two ones and one twos and stuff like that. Look at this hand. They forced us to choose death or the blade. No, Tom, Tom Kent Soraka, I'm just not not worried about that deck. That was the only one that I wasn't deciding about. Like the other, it was it was between this one or Lee Sin. Just Lee Sin can do some crazy stuff sometimes. Come closer. I don't bite. Uh, let's go with the shield bearer. Clad in shining sunlight. I'm gonna just pass back over to them. Okay, I'm passing to me. So they're gonna see like what they played, and then maybe I challenge something with Diana. I could have played Solari Soldier first, and then I would have had Diana still. But the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I really want Solari Soldier on defense as a three-three. I think that's very important. If only those soldiers were as lovely as you. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. 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 Mm. 
That's gonna hurt me. Skitter out from the darkness. No mercy for heretics. May have not been the best matchup with all the fearsome. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Interesting. So like usually I'd, I would d discard Dusk Petal Dust to Spacey Sketcher. Let's see, Diana's at two out of four. Um, I kind of want to get the Scryer in play though, and start so I can start playing things for cheaper. Which means that I don't get to do dust. All right, actually, I'll just do the priestess. Um, give me the warrior. Bask in her radiant blessing. No, it's definitely not dust petal dust pass. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. No more lies. I will be heard. Lunari, rise. Is this possibly a good attack? They kill two of my things, but there's down to one health each. I guess they can kill three of my things. Come, a new phase awaits. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty useless. What's your um hurry? this does this helps out this really helps out unspeakable horror. We find another unspeakable horror. And obviously, I have a ton of units that I'll be playing. Hey, how about that? Now you've gone and upset it. So I have seven mana, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I, I can't go Scryer, I know that this would cost two less. It'd be seven, and then, or yeah, so it'd be four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be eight mana, and I have seven. I don't get to go Mountain Scryer. Because I probably want to play this Crescent Strike this turn. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Kind of think they're going to play another. Okay, they're not. Oh, they're going to play like another like Frenzied Skitter or a Nocturne. Something like that. I was going to wait till they played that before using this stun. I guess maybe I don't even need to use the Crescent Strike this turn. They don't seem to have very good attacks. Keep that thing from being fearsome. Okay, guess I'm going to. I get to play the Shade Stalker and give the Diana Challenger as well. So the 2-2 two -two Fearsome is the one thing that I have to kill. I guess I just do this. Face your heretic. I will be heard. I can do this. This game's not over. I mean we've had we had a good turn that last turn, but they still got a bunch of mana here. They have a bunch of things that can be scary. And you know, like Nocturne, Nocturne can just kill us in an instant. So that's why I wanted to challenge there. I wanted to challenge that instead of challenging the Wraith Caller, I wanted to challenge the thing that had Nightfall to try to keep the Nocturne from leveling up. Cool, another fearsome blocker. My 
my faith protects me. Fortunately, I don't have any more Nightfall cards. Dang. Yeah, see, I could do this week game. <sighs> Looks like that's game. Yeah, that, fr that Frenzy Skitter was great. We chart our path by the stars. Just had another Nightfall card. We would have been fine. Live in fear. It's a great Draven Darius. That deck's great. Twisted Deep, Misfortune, and Gangplank. Yeah, like they only have they only have uh, three regions with their three decks. Nobody wants me to play Tom Lux. I guess we'll do the same thing we did last time. All right, Draven Darius. Um, I need another unit. Like the the Whirling Death and the Stand United are both great tricks. Okay, that one's a little expensive for a unit, but. Difficult. All right, good. On, good card to draw. Oh, don't get too close. That's a surprise. No, do that block. I like that block. Wool squirrel. Ours is the one true light. So small. Punish transgression. Yuck. So pill cascade will kill me. Definitely think they have Pell Cascade. I really wish I could play Kato and then still have tricks available. Kato's our might. We have Kato, we have Stand United. We're, we're definitely killing them next turn. I don't know if I'm getting another turn, though. This is the problem. They're going to have to do the Nexus damage to us, because we have blockers. So, like, we're, we're blocking here. Four things. If they have a decimate, I guess we lose. They will bleed for Noxus. Mind is the That's right. end of Noxus. Okay. I um, guess we just pass. We got Whirling Death for that thing. That's no biggie. Let's do this. I would not want to be here. Yeah, I don't think I would either. All right, we'll pick you, strike you, and we stay alive at four. And then I assume they're going to Spinning Axe. They're Draven, we Transfusion, keep our Kato alive. 
Now we're cooking. So now Swole Squirrel's got 24 power. It's getting one power every hour of the day. Hopefully they can't kill us. I give you muscles. And if, if they have like removal, we have stand united, so we're good we're good against removal. There we go, GG's. Swole cat picking us up. If we win all seven, we'll get a prime glory which goes towards the the gauntlet in December. Um, it, it basically counts as a free win towards that gauntlet. All right, what do we ban in? Um, maybe the, the the Trundle deck. I ban Twist of Fate Swain. I'll play against Trundle. All right, so this is working out so far. We'll just play, you know, like they always ban Tom Lux, and then we'll we'll play Mountain Diana, and they win. Then we'll play Swole Cat, and we win. And then keep this. We'll just keep this going, I guess. It's working out. I don't really need this Solari Soldier. Yeah, it just doesn't really matter. I know it's like a one drop and you like usually keep one drops but this matchup that one drop doesn't really matter we were peaceful once. so this is going to be trundle and ledros um i i i am playing three sunburst and sunburst is great against um both of those cards and so one mulligan look for Basically, I just want some bursts. I want these to find the obliterates. And so that's what I want. Some burst and obliterate. Um, so far, we're doing a terrible job <laughs> finding some burst and obliterate. Couldn't be any worse. Um, we'll just end around. Come on. I don't want any of these. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't want any of them. I guess the warrior. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pass turn so they just waste the seven mana. I don't want to, like, attack and then they use mana afterwards. Yay, sunburst. I guess I can play the sunburst next turn. They go trundle here. Cool. Love it. My faith protects me. Guess they don't have trundle. They really not acted like they have trundle. Yeah, obliterate. Could be pretty good. My spirit shines. Warm hearts and hot soup. Got some patience right there. Come on in. Come on in. Cool, now there's on burst. I don't know if they play Glimpse Beyond, but I really hope that answer is no. Cool. I 
I guess we save you. No, I don't really have any Leona Diana decks right now. Hey, boo. Howdy. Doing real good. Whoa, they just didn't attack? They just did not attack. I'll take one mana 2-2 two, two draw card. Boo. Guess it's two mana. 2-2 two, two draw card. All unbelievers will see the light. Yeah, they can have Ledros next turn, definitely. The horizon. I guess I don't have any other Behold cards right now. For Supernova. Yeah, besides the puppy dog that's about to die. You know, like, I have, like, these sorcery, or I guess not sorcery, slow. I have these slow speed, <laughs> sorcery, wrong game. I have these slow speed ways they can deal with Trundle and Ledros, and that's why I'm worried about um, them playing Ledros and then having Glimpse Beyond. You know, like, I try to sunburst it, and they go Glimpse Beyond. I am worried about that. So let's see. So if I play Aurelian Soul, and then they play Ledros. It's the worst that can happen to me. Can't really kill me with Ledros Atrocity, especially I got Star Shaping. They have this Ice Pillar. I guess I might as well play the 10 mana really until first. Doing that so Aurelian Soul dies to Ledros. When blocking. Cards. Still set me up with nine. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of the dust, and then pill cascade this thing and block with this thing. We will resist. Yeah, I mean, atrocity is a thing. I can heal my nexus for five. Will be free. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. So I also have Supernova available if they play like another Ledros. Can obliterate them both. Yeah, that's kind of my plan is to try to Sunburst next turn. I'll play the Cerulean Soul. I guess I take the Living Legends. My, how they stare. Yeah, I think we. I guess we open attack. You know, like I have. I have some like pretty big threats we could play. Yeah, I, 
I guess I guess we just open attack though. I wish I had one more mana. I wish I could sunburst the Ledros and still have star shaping available. That's not the case. I really don't want to see revitalizing roar. Oh come on, they just drew revitalizing roar. And they're showing me it they're just showing me a different Ledros. Okay. Yeah, good play by them. I do love an audience. Good play by them. They've had basically every card that I don't want them to have. Basically every card that I'm like, alright, please don't have X, they've had X. I don't know what to do here. I'm not sure what to do. I guess it's pass. My, how they stay. Man, that would have actually been a good card. That would have actually been a good card. I have way too many eight and eight, nine, ten mana cards in hand. So I guess they have another. I guess they have another atrocity, which means that I'm dead. Yeah, I can heal in response to Ledros. I can heal one. The first Ledros won't kill me, at least. I'm not sure about the second one. I think if we would have had leveled up Aurelian Soul. Could have been awesome. Because I'm not even going to be able to draw a card. I have, too much, I have too much stuff in hand. I guess maybe I need to do that before Nightfall. Or I guess I don't have to... Hmm. I was thinking that I had to... I was going to supernova these. But I guess I could... Let's see. So if I play... Can I... Unload this hand at all? I can only play two things. Let's see, if I play Supernova, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I guess I have eight cards in hand. Okay. So we have eight. So we get one extra one for Aurelian Soul. So I do get to draw my card for turn. Come on, Star Shaping. No. That was a tough game. Honestly, who loses with a space dragon on their side? I do. 